Well, this goes to show one thing. <laughs> when they say on code, they mean on code. Yes, we're here the day after. Was it two days after? How many days after is the time when, you know, America is continuing its, you know, when the Civil War is supposed to be continuing? Whatever, you know. Let's call it the war the white supremacists want. <laughs> the racist white supremacists. Hey, look. Everybody's looking to say, has this happened before? What is this? How did this happen? Blah, blah. You know, the police let them through the lines. The group was, the Siasi Shaz, the Wuji, the Yadu, that, all that stuff. Well, some people go back to Nixon. Some people go back to, I don't know. Some people go back to Bush doing whatever he does. Some people even, you know, go to uh, uh, Obama and Biden when they militarized the police. But it's strange, the, the police got all this military kind of hardware and they won't use it when, to defend the Capitol. They'll use it to beat up on, you know, people who are demonstrating peacefully, you know, and here and there and everywhere. But the capital, the 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 this called the Citadel, the, the where everything you know with the papers, with they sign the papers so that you know they can people can you know put it at that stage whatever. Okay, let me make this short. Here's what I know. I had this job, you know, before my defining job as arts director, you know, whatever. I was production engineer. For radio station, not just any radio station, WBI New York. You say, oh, so what's the significance of that? Because when we take feeds and we're doing stuff, we're doing stuff out, ah, you know, the, everybody's looking this way, would mainstream media make you look this way? Some of the people looking that way, BAI, we take all the ways. <laughs> so one time I was there doing my job, you know, helping the news out as usual, you know, news is very important. And, uh, you know, so you had to take some feeds down, you know, what is happening here. And at this time, Reagan was president. Okay. So let's call this the fast 80s. You know, the 80s when everything really happened, when they let the crack really, crack really happen and, and diseases really have all that stuff, right? So here I was minding my own business, doing my own job. And then I hear that Reagan's in Germany. Okay. You know, presidents go to all kinds of countries, you know. Makes sense. You know? What's he doing in Germany? Like, you know, what like, like when, uh, what's that guy? Uh, when when Trump went to France and, you know, visiting graves, he was visiting a grave, he, he didn't want to go to a certain graveyard because it was raining or something like that. But, but hey, Reagan, he went to a grave site. He went to, like, I think it's called Bitburg. All I know is a site that had all of the, the, uh, the, the, the Nazis, you know, the, the stormtroopers, you know the soldiers. The, no, it's just the soldiers. Like the real hot. The, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of those those fascist kind of those kind of guys that don't that these guys here that just <laughs> stormed the, the the citadel uh uh like you know those kind of things with the symbols and stuff like that and they're standing up for whatever they're standing up for with all kinds of weaponry right. Those kind of dark guys are buried in this particular cemetery. So why would Reagan go visit that cemetery? You know, don't make no sense. I think people may comment at the time and say, okay, don't make no sense. Years later, I said, photo op. Yeah, your photo op. Well, what's photo op? Well, you know, you get photo op. Well, that to me was the signal. A president of the United States goes to, you know, that ilk, gets a photo op and say, boys, it's all right. We shall rise from the dead. <laughs> we ain't dead yet. We didn't dead. We didn't dead during the Civil War. We didn't dead during World War Two, right? We certainly ain't gonna dead now. So that was the with the said dog whistle, the dog picture. <laughs> it said, you know, we're gonna stick with it. So from Reagan, then they told you right there, Reagan was our guy, right? So from Reagan on, when they make a move, they make a move. And the move is to make sure they can keep on moving. And you, my friends, will be stopped in your tracks. No, not you, the, the, the whatever. No, 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 no. I'm talking about, you know, people that look like 
that like like this, you know? <laughs> people that that you know that are to humanity and stuff like that, stopped in the tracks. We got the big bad white man coming, and he's got all his troops on both sides of the letter, as they say, the letter of the law. We talking about. Just letting you know, a little suggestion, no, no, a little observation from me, T, from the Pattersons, taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I definitely suspect. <laughs>